How's it going, everyone? My name is Joe Cox, and thank you for tuning in to Joe C. Cox Photo. As always, we do have a new plant for the video. Second, this is an unscripted video. And third, this video will cover my own personal experiences and workflows, so there will be some things included, some things excluded. Today's video, though, we are still working in Adobe Photoshop, and today we are specifically going to be looking at how to place grids or guides on top of your photos. Definitely something I... I wish I had known earlier on, but we are going to go ahead and cover that today. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Very first thing you will notice is up top, we are in Adobe Photoshop 2024. And when we go down to the bottom right, you will notice we only have one background layer. But today to cover grids and guides, the first thing we're going to do is go up into the very top and hit view. In view, we're going down to the very bottom to guides, and you'll notice we only have three options available. Lock guides, new guide, and new guide layout. We're going to start with new guide, which is only going to add one horizontal or vertical guide to our canvas. So let's go ahead and start there. I'm going to click on new guide, and you'll notice it brings up this little pop-up window. So you can choose between horizontal or vertical orientation. And you could choose where you want it, but in this case, being at position zero inches, we are going to have a vertical guide all the way on this far left over here. Then additionally, you could change the color of the guide if you wanted to. But we're going to hit OK. And you'll notice we do have that cyan guide over here. Now, with the move tool clicked off, you can click on your guides and click and drag them around to move them. You will notice that when you click on it, it turns a little bit darker blue to show that it is selected. You can click off and it'll go back to that cyan, meaning you are no longer selected on it. We are going to go ahead real quick up into view, go down to guides, new guide, and we are going to create a horizontal guide. Still at position zero, which means it's going to be up at this top. When I hit OK, you'll notice we get a new guide. And we'll place it about there. You'll notice there again that that horizontal guide is currently selected because it is dark blue, whereas our vertical guide is cyan. So with it selected, if we went into view, went down into guides and said clear selected guides, you'll notice only the horizontal disappears. So when I click that, poof, horizontal is gone. And now if I went and clicked on that one, I could do the same thing and I do either have Either option, I could clear the selected guide, or if I wanted to clear all of my gu or guides, excuse me, I could clear them all at once. Now, kind of last thing I want to cover up in view is guides, new guide layout. This is where I kind of talk about it being more like a grid instead of just a guide. But up at the top, you do have a few different options. Currently, we're in custom, and that is going to be where we work today. But for example, if we went into a column, you'll notice it's a preset by Adobe with eight columns and there is a gutter of 0 0.083 inches. But we want to be in custom. Um, when we go down, target, grayed out because it is going straight to the canvas color. There again, I like the cyan color of my guides. And then we get into columns and rows. So right now we've got eight columns total, no width change and a gutter of 0 0.083. 083 we're going to change that gutter to zero and we're going to say two columns but then we are going to put in a width so let's say a two inch width and when we click off you'll notice it's giving us just a two inch width so that is how all three of those uh, settings work but for the sake of this we're just going to go add in a few columns and a few rows. You could put in margins if you wanted to. So for instance, you could put in an inch margin all around your photo. And then you could also clear the existing guides if you had any previously on there. And then center columns, um, it's always gonna be kind of centered, so I don't really get why it says otherwise. Um, maybe if you changed up the gutter width to a weird, um, specification then you might want to hit center columns and then it'll put everything in the middle but otherwise it works just fine like this but anyways if you hit okay now you'll notice we do have all of that grid onto our photo so we can easily work within things edit things make sure everything's lined up or um, composed properly really whatever we want to do 
Of course, if we ever want to get rid, you go into guides and clear guides. Boom. So that is going to be today's video. Pretty easy stuff. Again, just showing you how to get grids or guides on top of your photos in Adobe Photoshop. But thank each and every one of you. I do appreciate y'all. As always, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to get down there and drop it a comment of things you'd like to see or things you found useful. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. There's a lot of new things always coming out on this page, and I don't want you to miss out. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to go check out the links down below as well. Go check out the merch page. I do appreciate that. But otherwise, guys, have an excellent rest of your day, and I will catch you on that next video. Bye.